are you guys doing? So this is a very quick impromptu live. I hope you guys can hear me. It's been a really, really <laughs> busy day. And I'm just here for a very quick live video. Guys, drop me your comments. Say hello, hello to me. I hope your Friday is going good. Uh, I've I've had a very tough Friday so far. Just um, a lot of legal issues to resolve. Anyway, so today I'm here to talk to you guys about something known as the green card, the abuse green card. Okay, so I'm live on Instagram and I'm live on Facebook. So again, I'll be, you know, um, shuffling between the two screens. So if you see me moving my head back and forth, that's what it's for. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the abuse green card. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, Wendell's, John Myers, Awosika, Rosie Trading. And on Facebook, guys, drop me your comments. You know, just say hi. Just drop an emoji. Let me know how you're doing and feeling. I hope everything is okay with you guys. Okay, so the abuse green card is known as VAWA. Simply put, VAWA. VAWA is, you know, a self-petition where you can apply for the u.s government to give you a green card if you have suffered extreme cruelty and battery in your marriage okay so we're going to just very 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 quickly within you know five minutes talk about this and then i will hop off um let me put this on facebook okay so i have this banner on facebook in order to file a vow self-petition so with, you know, normally if you are, let's say, um, you're married to a U.S. citizen or you're married to a green card holder, you will, you know, your, your husband, who's a U.S. citizen, will petition for you who's a foreign national. Let's say you're from Ghana or wherever. However, with the abuse green card, you, you do a self-petition. This means that you don't need your husband or your wife to petition for you. You can um, petition by yourself. Okay, so in order for you to file a self-petition under the abuse green card, um, you need to establish seven things. And this is found under section 204 of the Immigration Nationality Act, section 204A1A. Okay, so you have to prove seven things. We're going to just mention those things, those seven things very briefly. The first thing is that the self-petitioner, the person who is a foreign national or who's a foreigner and who's applying for a green card, they must demonstrate to the U.S. government through its federal agency, that's the U.S. CIS, United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. That's a federal agency that adjudicates, you know, um, immigration application and administrates the U.S. you know, immigration laws. Okay, so the first thing you have to prove is that you have a qualifying relationship. What does a qualifying relationship mean? It means you are either married to a green card holder or a U.S. citizen, and this green card holder, U.S. citizen. Um, is abusing you, okay, and you can get, again, a green card through the process. The second thing, so the qualifying relationship is that there has to be a marriage, okay, there has to be a marriage, and to file for VAWA, you have to be married to the green card holder or U.S. citizen, or you have to be divorced from them within two years, so you have to file the petition within two years of the divorce, okay, and then the second thing is that, um, there has to be a qualifying abuser. That means the abuser, again, has to be a green card holder, a U.S. citizen. If the abuser is like you and has no green card or is undocumented, you know, or has no citizenship, then you cannot file for a VAWA. Of course, you can, you can qualify for another type of um, application process known as a U visa, where you can get a green card through the process because you are being abused by somebody who's not a U.S. citizen and somebody who's not your husband, okay? So if you are being abused or beaten or um, insulted and it, it rises to the level of extreme cruelty and battery, then you qualify for VAWA, okay? So there has to be a qualifying abuser. That means the abuser must be a U.S. citizen or a green card holder for you to file for VAWA. Then the third thing is that it has to be a good faith marriage. So it's not a, an arranged or transactional marriage or a business type of marriage where you are being abused. That won't qualify. If you've gone to pay somebody $20,000 for them to file a green card for you, pretend they're your husband, file a green card for you, and, and this person is abusing you and insulting you, 
you don't qualify for VAWA because the, you know, your application or your situation fundamentally lacks good faith, what's known as the bona fides, okay? The marriage is bona fide, it's merely transactional, it's a paper one, so you will not qualify for VAWA, okay? So now let's look at the final, the final, 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 um, factors that you need to prove in order to qualify for power guys drop me your comments let me know let me know if you have questions or concerns okay the fourth thing is that it has to be bashi or extreme cruelty when we talk about bashi we are talking about psychological you know um emotional verbal physical sexual financial all the types of abuses and it has to be extremely cruel for somebody to say Eesh, this person is very 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 wicked he's extremely cruel you know or she is extremely cruel like if your husband comes back from work and you are sleeping and they heat hot water, very, very boiling hot water, and they pour it on your legs because they're like, look, you're an immigrant and you're just sleeping, you're lazy, and they pour the scalding, the hot water on your legs. I mean, that's clearly extreme cruelty. Um, so things like that. And then they beat you or they insult you all day long from morning till evening. They use your, you know, your weaknesses against you and insult you, insult you, insult you, and it hurts your heart, you know. Um, and it affects your standard of living, it affects your happiness, it affects your, the quality of your life, then there's extreme cruelty, okay? Then the fifth thing is that you have to live with the abuser, okay? You have to have lived or live with him. So even if you lived with him for two months and look, the abuse was too much, like he would use your head to knock on the, on the wall 10 times every morning as his morning ritual before he goes to work, that's certainly extreme cruelty. And because of that, you had to move out of the house and you no longer live with him. You still qualify to file for the abuse green card because you did live with him no matter how short it was. The statute does not stipulate a time frame that, oh, you should have lived with the abuser for six months. That would be suicidal, right? Because if you have somebody who's using your head to hit the wall 10 times every morning and the law is saying you should have lived with him for six months before you can file for an abuse green card, then by the time you are out of that relationship, you'll be dead before you can enjoy the green card, right? So... There's no time limit, okay? Then the sixth thing is that you have to have good moral character. He who's going to equity must go with clean hands. So you are going and saying, oh, somebody's abusing me. I need a green card. That means that you yourself, you shouldn't be a criminal. You shouldn't have, you know, a bad record. You shouldn't be a drunk driver. You know, you should have good moral character. You're not somebody who also, um, you know, does other things, does steals and steals from shops, does shoplifting, and all sorts of things. You have to be somebody of good moral character. The self-petitioner must have good moral character before you can actually qualify um, for an approval under VAWA, okay? Then the last and seventh thing is that you should be currently live in the United States um, under that section 204. Of course, there are exceptions to all these rules. So make sure that if you feel like you are living with your your green card holder spouse or green card holder U.S. citizen spouse or U.S. citizen child or green card holder child and they are abusing you, you know, um, just be sure to um, contact an attorney and let them screen you properly so that you can, you know, start the self-petition process. And the other thing is that once you start the self-petition process, the abuser will not know that you are actually petitioning you know, you're doing a self-petition. Um, U.S. immigration is not allowed to send them any information at all. And again, the abuser is not going to be in trouble. The U.S. immigration, they are not the police. They're not going to be enforcing, you know, criminal, like if your husband is beating you, they're not coming to arrest him, right? They're just there to, to adjudicate immigration petitions. So that's one of the concerns. And people feel like, oh yeah, I know my husband abuses me, but I don't want him arrested. No, he will not get arrested because you filed a VAWA self-petition. So please, if you are being abused um, and you believe that this abuse rises to the level of extreme cruelty and battery, make sure that you co connect with your an attorney. You can call me and I will be very, very happy to help you guys. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys, um, those of you who didn't watch the Push and, push and Flight um, live video, please be sure to check it out. It's all over my, all of my pages. Search AK Puku Law and you will find it. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you're very welcome. I'm sorry, I didn't even welcome you guys in the beginning. Well, you're welcome. I'm, I'm hopping off to do my last consultation for the day. So you're very welcome to this live video. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe, 
um you know comment share unfortunately my office is a little dark today i don't have my ring light i think instagram is a little brighter but facebook is a little bit dim anyway so guys i wish you a very very wonderful weekend um let me see if there are any comments here oh okay so we have a comment here from sewa msg who says hi lawyer hello then mrs sewa Ankroma says the network should permit us today all on instagram thank you so much guys for joining i'm very very happy to have you guys on here um i'm wishing you guys a very very wonderful weekend and i will see you next week as usual we are we are representing immigrants around the u.s fabulous representation call us if you need our help 802-7800-564 and i'll be happy to assist you representing all immigrants in all 50 states and around the world okay guys have a beautiful weekend please take care of yourself and don't forget to <laughs> uh just relax during the weekend be happy enjoy life life is very short i'm going for a weekend i'm going for a funeral this weekend and it just keep it just reminds us um that life is really short so just relax enjoy this weekend there's a comment on facebook let me just read it it's from daniel david Corte. he says hey watching you from manassas virginia oh awesome you're yeah, right by close you're yeah, very close by that's great okay he says what happens if you don't have your abuser's birth certificate to prove she is a u.s citizen it doesn't matter that you don't have it um according to statutes uscis is supposed to they're supposed to review their records and then pull that out so um i forget the exact section under under the immigration nationality act but i've used it um on a number of occasions where uscis will have to review their records and then you know um, be able to ascertain the immigration status or the nationality of the abuser so that should not be a problem and that should not prevent you from um filing let me see if i can pull that up right quickly oh my gosh i have to go unfortunately but i will be back next week yes i'll be back next week and then we can chat some more about vawa hopefully or maybe another topic okay guys take care and be good be safe Bye bye